I was recently contacted by Al Hartman about the possibility of reproducing these cartridges for the Timex Sinclair 2068 computer. This is an OS64 cartridge that was made by Zebra Systems in the mid-1980s. Al worked there at the time, and he recently unearthed a number of leftover OS64 EEPROMs, which he'd like to be able to put in new cartridges. He, he says it would also be helpful to be able to put Spectrum ROMs into the cartridge slot on the 20, 2068, so that uh, original Spectrum software can be run on the platform too. He contacted me because he had seen the very similar work that I had done before, making an EEPROM-based cartridge board for the TRS-80 color computer. To help me out with this project, Al and uh, Rod Humphreys up in Canada sent me an OS64 cartridge to take some measurements of, along with a 2068 computer to do some testing on. Uh, it looks like Rod took an original 2068 box and wrapped it up with paper before sending it to me, so I thought it'd be fun to make a video of the unboxing and share it with you guys. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Ah, this feels just like Christmas. Christmas 30 years ago. Looks like this was uh, sold for $100, $99.95 sale price. Here's the front side of the box. So starting at the top, looks like we have manuals for crazy bugs and circuit board scramble. Here's the computer itself, Timex Sinclair 2068. Here's a states and capitals cartridge. It's very small. Looks like it has a sliding cover over the circuit board and a little handle to hold on to it. It's very thin also. There's a power supply. This must be a cassette tape cable. Okay, we've got circuit board scramble and crazy bugs here. Let's see underneath the computer, have some plastic bags and a user manual. It's pretty thick. Here's the computer itself. The keyboard doesn't feel great, but it's a lot better than the Timex Sinclair 1000 with their membrane keyboard. Big upgrade, I would say. Here's a door for plugging in the cartridges. Let's see if I can do this without breaking the cartridge. There's the OS64 cartridge. Yep, that fits in there too. So this OS64 cartridge is made from a single circuit board, the full size of the cartridge without any plastic casing. Instead, they used some sort of plastic sheeting and vacuum formed it to cover up the EEPROM decoder chip the, the pins on the back of the sockets and so forth. And these look like they also make nice skids to keep things lined up with the slot when you slide this in here. So I think this may be for joysticks. Here's a power switch. Here on the bottom side, there's the TV channel two or three switch and a speaker. I guess that's probably another joystick plug. 
Then on the back side, there's an expansion uh, connector, connections for monitor or TV, the uh, cassette tape recorder, and a power jack. I recently got this TV at an estate sale for about $5. It was made in 1987, and it should be just perfect for trying out this computer. And there we have it. Let's try out this States and Capitals cartridge. Selecting questions. Boy, that's not fast. There we go. Let's try States. Sacramento is the capital of what state? Well, I know that. Yay! Next, let's try out this OS64 cartridge. Well, I can't read that on a TV, but that would probably be readable on a monitor if I have one hooked up. Well, there you have it. It works, and my next step is to reproduce this card. See you next time.